Guys, what is good? Welcome back to the channel. In this video, we're going to talk about how you can record your camera screen of any brand or model only using QuickTime Player. And the good thing is it did cost less than 20 pounds and you don't need to worry about buying an expensive Atomos Ninja 5 external recorder. And before we keep talking, let's dive into it. I'm going to show you how to do so and what you need. Welcome back to the channel guys, I'm Florian, good to see you, hope you all guys doing fantastic. So guys, a long story short, as we're starting out with YouTube, we're doing tutorials, we want to show you our settings, we're going to show you behind the scenes how we set certain things up. But sometimes we just don't have a budget to spend on an external recorder to record our camera screen or anything we're doing. So there's a simple easy way how to walk around this only using QuickTime Player or any other sort of software which is around, such as like a VLC player as well. So the only thing you need is basically your camera, a HDMI cable which fits into your camera and into the HDMI capture card and also you need the HDMI capture card. So now I'm gonna show you how to connect everything and how to set it up in QuickTime Player to record your camera screen. So here we go guys, we got our camera, we got our HDMI cable and our HDMI video capture card. The video capture card sells as little as 10 pounds on Amazon and I can leave a link down in the comments for you guys so you can have a look which HDMI capture card I bought and you might want to pick one up as well. You need the HDMI cable with a mini HDMI plug-in for your camera and a normal HDMI plug-in to your HDMI capture card and then basically you just connect everything to your camera, to the HDMI card and you plug a HDMI card into your laptop. So and after we connected everything together, we're just jumping onto our laptop, we open QuickTime Player, we're coming over to Files, New Movie Recording, open it and here we go, you see already yourself and to basically what the camera sees and then we're coming down to the little record button, to the arrow down and choosing our USB camera, making sure that our USB digital audio is on as well and our quality is set to maximum. And then we basically just need to hit the record button and we're recording the back of our camera screen and you see all the settings I see and also I could show you different settings, different things, the menu in general as well. And we're gonna do this now as well, so let me swap, let me stop the recording. Simpler that, you stop a recording and it will stop recording your screen. Simpler that, you can come back to files and you export as 1080p, you choose the name such as like test, and you export it wherever you would like to save it. You hit save, it might take a minute or two to export the video and then you got it basically saved wherever you wanted to save it. In my case, I saved it onto my desktop. Come over to the recording and here we go. We got the recording of ourselves, of our back screen and also keeping in mind guys, there's a little downside to it. It will only just display 1080p as the exported version. However, that's not a big downside for my personal needs. It's more that you guys can see a proper big screen next time when I show you some settings or we're talking through settings to give you a bigger better picture and it's easier for you guys to follow up the steps which I'm going to show you. So now basically I swapped the HDMI cable to my second camera to show you how it will look like when you plug it in when I want to show you some sort of like menu settings. Now we're coming back into our QuickTime player. The only thing we need to do is basically click file, new movie recording and we open a new window and here we go guys, you can see already the back of my camera screen. Then as we did before, we come next, the arrow next to the record button, we make sure that all our settings are right. Choose USB camera, USB digital audio and choose your quality with maximum to get the maximum quality out of it. So and then we're just hitting our record button again and we're touching our camera and we're going through 
As you can see, you see the full menu. Now we could talk about settings or anything similar and you guys can see and follow up the settings better than if I show you just a little bug off camera screen when we're talking about things. So, and again guys, we just stop the recording, coming over to file, export as 1080p, choose a title, let's say test two in this case, we save it to the desktop, we save it, it takes a minute again to export the clip or the video and then we can close down our QuickTime player, oops, close down our QuickTime player and the second window as well because we had the recording earlier and then you come over to your desktop, you find your video, test to, hit the play button and you can see that you see the full menu which I shown you if I wanted to talk with you through the menu. Okay guys, I would like to throw something in here right now. And this is regarding the audio. The audio just works if you're actually just recording the back of the screen and you're filming yourself. As soon as you dive into the menus, you need to still do an over voice or overlay of voice to your footage. Otherwise you won't be able to capture any audio. And here we go guys, as easy as this it can be. Only thing you need is a HDMI capture card, a HDMI cable and you don't need to spend massively a big amount of money into a, a Thomas Ninja 5 external recorder if you're just starting out. I'm gonna leave a link down in the comments for the HDMI capture card so go check it out guys, get one if you need one and as simple as that it can be. And if you like this video, hit the thumbs up button. It helps the algorithm and myself to push this video a bit. And if it helpful or if it was helpful to you guys, smash the like button, let me know. Let me know what else you would like to see. And with that said, like, comment and subscribe guys. And I'm gonna see you my friend very soon in another video. Cheers guys.